oh, 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 no. gonna know like oh, i can who, give you the hr protocol you could give to someone <laughs> i mean yeah let me hear it what, what do i what I've do i do enough i've worked in enough offices and had a you've encountered people. this problem before yeah not even just in this job because this job is super chill and basic but sure. like i've worked in places where it's been like people complaining about someone's perfume like smelling yeah yeah, yeah that can so be like a big one too but that can be a big one too Smells. when it's just too much of when it's yeah. just an overpowering mm -hmm. yeah yeah you like, just put so much on, and I'm sure, like my odor isn't pleasant uh, at after all times. 10. After I've right, after I've had it, well, just even after having a smoke and coming right back in, right? Yeah. I try and yeah, you check your pits, you yeah, do yeah, a yeah. little, you do a stink you, test. Like for me, like it's simple things with being a smoker. You learn like you go to the bathroom afterwards, you really wash your hands good, and you kind of even just wash your face a little bit, and you wash your arms. That well, will take care of almost, like, half of your problem, well, right? Well, especially like, because you wash have... your arms, Doug? Well, yeah, I wash, wash up to my, like, kind of like elbows. Wrist, like, like, yeah. yeah, every cigarette? Not well, every cigarette, but... Well, and especially because you have facial hair. I've, yeah, I, when I still it hangs in the hair. A lot, yeah, I would always just, like, give my... Mu yeah. You know, run Ash. a little water on my mustache and just kind of like natural hygiene sort of stuff so and my point is like i would like to know the hr protocol but mm -hmm. i also feel like again it's if i if he gets word from hr or this gets passed down to like talk with him or something whatever they do after the fact he's gonna know it's one of two people <laughs> so so i don't know you know i mean to be fair, why not take take the smelly approach yourself? Maybe proactively like clone the booth when he when he comes I've in. I thought just about like... just handing him or like standing by the door with Axe body spray. So when he opens the door, I just douse him with Axe body spray. <laughs> but that's offensive. Yeah. Okay. So, maybe, but I but maybe... I don't I don't want to put roll on deodorant on him for him. No. But, <laughs> but I mean. Strip Owen. him down, Owen hold him down, of... like throw some guns, get age? some goddamn right guard. What's Owen... the age of this person? Mid twenties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I think you just need to do is be like, "Hey, man, not for nothing, but <laughs> you, stinky. you've got like a smell deodorant? coming off you, bro. Like, <sighs> I don't know. You got I, I don't know if I can do it. I really, I, I'm struggling with you, this. Owen... I don't know if I can do it. Okay, you're gonna have to <laughs> grow a sack and tell this guy he stinks. <laughs> shouldn't be my job. It no, should not... it shouldn't. But you're the one who's offended by it. Yeah. So you're going to listen. I, I did you bring could blame it, it on a guest. You could say, like, oh, man, uh, some guest just who uh, <laughs> passed me said, "Is does that man work for the company? Because he does I can't not say that. He stinks. Yeah, say that. <laughs> I can't say that. No way. You definitely can. You definitely have not worked in HR. Like you <laughs> blame a customer. <laughs> um, yeah. It works. Oh. Hey there, kids. It's me, Oni the Unicorn, and I'm here to tell you that f***ing your dreams ain't cheap. In fact, it costs a f ton of cash to do. So that's why me and the Ono oh Radio Show need your help. Just go to the website displayed below and hit us up with some cash, yo. One dollar, five dollars, a million dollars if you have it to spare. Any amount is appreciated. Well, I gotta go because these dreams ain't gonna f*** themselves. See ya!